Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is hierarchical routing algorithm. I will explain with an example. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link. In description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Hierarchical routing is a method used in computer networks to manage routing in a large network efficiently. In this technique, the entire network is divided into smaller regions or groups which are called hierarchies or domains. I will explain with an example. In network, there are so many routers available. So whenever sender wants to transfer data to receiver, in large network, data need to pass through various routers. For example, all these are routers. Hierarchical routing will find best route in order to transfer data in large network. So data will be reached to receiver successfully. So, hierarchical routing will manage routing in large network efficiently. Just for example, this is one big network. In hierarchical routing, entire network is divided into smaller regions. We also call these regions as groups. For example, this entire network is divided into four groups. They are 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in hierarchical routing, entire network is divided into smaller regions or groups, which are called as hierarchies. So this is one hierarchy, this is one hierarchy, this is one hierarchy and this is one hierarchy. Yes, for example, let us say, this is one big network. I am not dividing this big network into smaller regions. As there is big network, in this big network, each and every router need to maintain information about all other routers in the network. For example, if you consider this router, this router need to maintain information about all other routers in the network. And that information is stored in routing table. So each and every router contains routing table. In that routing table, complete information about all routers are maintained. So if we don't divide our entire network into regions, each router need to maintain information about all other routers in the network. So routers will consume lot of space and routing table is very big. And whereas if you consider hierarchical routing, in hierarchical routing, big network is divided into smaller regions. So each router need not to maintain information about all other regions. For example, if you consider this router, this router need to maintain information only about this router and as well as this router as they are present in one region. This router need not to maintain information about all these routers as they belong to different regions. So in hierarchical routing, each router need not to maintain information about all other routers in other regions. As each router contains routing table, Size of routing table is very less. For example, let us say this router want to communicate with this router. As they both belong to same region, they can communicate directly. As for example, if you consider this router, this router is connected to router in other region. As router in one region is connected to other region, we call these routers as special routers. And name of this special router is gateway router. So in this region, this is gateway router because it is connected to other region. And in this region, as this router is connected to this router, this is also gateway router. Router in this region is connected to router in this region. We call these two routers as gateway routers. And similarly, this router and this router, both are connected to each other. So we call these both routers as gateway routers. And similarly, this router and this router, both are gateway routers because they are connected to each other. Now, for example, this is source router. This router want to communicate to this router. For example, let's say this is region 1, this is region 2, this is region 3 and this is region 4. For example, this router want to communicate to this router. This router is in one region and this router is in other region. So they cannot communicate directly. So this router will send data to this router as this is gateway router. It will send data to this router. So if router in one region want to communicate to router in other region, they can communicate by using gateway router. So at first, this router will send data to gateway router. As gateway router is connected to this region, now gateway router will transfer data to this router. So in hierarchical routing, entire network is given into smaller regions or groups, which are called hierarchies. We also call hierarchies as domains. Each region has its own routers and there is less communication between other regions. Each region has their own routers and there is less communication with other regions. 
in hierarchical routing as we are dividing our entire network into various regions which will reduce the size of routing table as size of routing table is less communication will be fast for example if you consider larger networks in larger network each and every router need to maintain information about all other routers in routing table so size of routing table is very big so hierarchical routing will solve this problem by dividing large network into various regions this is how hierarchical routing will work and step one is it will divide our entire network into smaller regions and if communication is within the region routers can communicate directly normally routers will communicate by using distance vector routing or link state routing algorithm so here if routers are within the region they can communicate directly but if router in one region want to communicate with router in another region then they need to use special router called gateway router through gateway router router in one region can communicate with router in other region for example if this router want to transfer data to this router they both will communicate with each other by using gateway router as gateway router will connect to region 2 guys i will explain hierarchical routing with an example for example this is my entire network my entire network is divided into four regions region 1 2 3 and 4 for example region 1 contains routers they are 1a 1b and 1c similarly region 2 contains routers 2a 2b 2c and 2d and region 3 contain routers they are 3a 3b 3c and 3d and region 4 contains routers 4a 4b 4c 4d 4e and 4f for example let us say source router is 1a now we will create routing table for router 1a where 1a is source router from source router we will find shortest distance to all other routers in the network so all these are destination routers guys line is nothing but through which gateway router it need to pass for example if we consider region 1 where a source router is 1a 1a can directly communicate to 1b and 1a can directly communicate to 1c so there is no need of any gateway router this routers can communicate directly so line is nothing but gateway router there is no need of any gateway router a source router belongs to region 1 there is no need of any gateway routers in order to communicate and for example if you consider region 2 if router 1a want to communicate to routers in region 2 then this router can communicate by using router 1b where 1b is gateway router because router 1b is connected to region 2 so if router a want to communicate to 2a 2b 2c and 2d then it need to communicate by using gateway router 1b so in order to communicate to region 2 we need gateway router that is 1b and similarly routers in region 2 want to communicate to region 3 then they can communicate by using gateway router that is 2d and similarly if region 1 want to communicate to region 4 then they can communicate by using gateway router that is 1c by using router 1c region 1 can communicate to region 4 so for region 4 1c is gateway router guess for example if router 1a want to communicate to itself then there is no need of any router they can communicate directly so there is no need of any hops guess hop is nothing but through how many router our message need to pass in order to reach to destination and whereas if 1a want to communicate to 1b then 1a can communicate to 1b directly so through 1a data will be reached to 1b through router 1a data will be reached to 1b so there is only single router so hop is nothing but through how many routers it need to pass through single router data will be passed from source to destination and similarly if 1a want to communicate to 1c it can communicate directly through single router 1a data will be reached to 1c so here also hop count is 1 because data will be passed through single router now destination router is 2a if router 1a want to transfer data to 2a then it first 1a will transfer data to 1b which is gateway router through 1b data will be reached to 2a so data will be passed by using two routers so here hop count is 2 and similarly next destination is 2b so through router 1a 1b and then 2a 
to do b so through router 1a 1b and 2a data will be reached to 2b so here half count is 3 and similarly next one is 2c through 1a data will be reached to 1b and then 2a through router 2a data will be reached to 2c so here also half count is 3 and next one is 2d through 1a data will be transferred to 1b and then 2a then from 2a data can be transferred to either 2b or 2c then data will be transferred to 2d through 1a data is forwarded to 1b and then 2a and then 2b from 2b data is reached to 2d so by using 4 routers data will be transferred to receiver so your half count is 4 and next one is region 3 from 1a if data want to reach to 3a then first from 1a data is transferred to 1b and then 2a and then 2b and then 2d from 2d data is transferred to 3b from 3b data is transferred to 3a so from router 1 2 3 4 5 6 data will be reached to 3a so here half count is 6 and next one is 3b through router 1a 1b 2a 2b 2d data will be reached to 3b so here half count is 5 and similarly next one is 3c so from 1a 1b 2a 2b 2d 3b data will be reached to 3c so half count is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so half count is 6 so data need to pass through 6 routers in order to reach to 3c and next one is 3d so from router 1a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so through 7 routers data will be reached to 3d and next destination is 4a as we can transfer data either by using this route or this route so i'll select this route so source router is 1a and destination router is 4a so at first step from 1a data will be transferred to 1c and from 1c data is transferred to 4b and then 4a so by using three routers data will be reached to 4a so here half count is 3 and next one is 4b so through router 1a and 1c data will be reached to 4b so your half count is 1 2 and next one is 4c so at first data is transferred to 1c and then 4b and then 4c so your half count is 1 2 3 and next one is 4d where our source router is 1a and destination router is 4d through router 1 2 3 4 data will be reached to 4d so your half count is 4 and next one is 4e through router 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, data will reach to 4e. So your half count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So your half count is 5. And last destination router is 4f. So from 1a, data is transferred to 1c, and then 4b, and then 4a. From 4a, data is transferred to 4f. So your half count is 1, 2, 3, 4. So your half count is 4. As an exam, no need to write all this. Just you can draw this table. Guys, here 1b and 2a. Both are connected to each other. So we call this 1b and 2a as gateway routers. Similarly, 2d and 3b. Both are gateway routers. And 3d and 4c. Both are gateway routers. And 1c and 4b. All these are gateway routers. By using gateway routers, regions can communicate to each other. So this table will show how communication will happen between source router to all other routers in the network. This is complete routing table, but each router will not show this complete routing table. Each router will show hierarchical routing table. In hierarchical routing table, each router will store full details of its region and only summary of other regions. By seeing this table, you can understand. For example, source router is 1A. So, as router 1A belongs to region 1, this router 1a will store complete information about all routers in that particular region. So router 1a will store information about 1a, 1b and 1c. So router is 1a. This router can communicate itself directly. So there is no need of any lines and hops. And in order to reach to 1b, 1a will directly communicate to 1b through router 1a 
वन ए विल डायरेक्टली कम्युनिकेट टू वन बी सो हाफ पॉइंट इज वन एंड वन ए विल डायरेक्टली कम्युनिकेट टू वन सी थ्रू वन ए वन ए विल डायरेक्टली कम्युनिकेट टू वन सी सो हियर आल्सो हाफ पॉइंट इज वन एंड सिमिलरली इन आर टू रीच टू रीजन टू इफ वन ए वॉन्ट टू रीच टू रीजन टू इट विल कम्युनिकेट बर्जिंग गेट वे रूटर वन बी सो हेर गेट वे रूटर इज वन बी एज वन बी इज कनेक्टेड टू टू ए इन आर टू रीच टू टू ए हाफ पॉइंट इज टू So, if one year want to communicate to region three, one year will communicate to region three by using gateway router two D. So, in order to reach to three B, half point is five. And similarly, if one year want to communicate to region four, it will communicate by using gateway router that is one C. So, one C is connected to four B. So, in order to reach to four B, half point is two. Now, this is complete hierarchical routing table. Each router will store complete information of its region and then. It will store only summary of other region. So this is hierarchical routing table where each router will store this hierarchical routing table. As each router will not store this complete information, size of routing table decreases in hierarchical routing table. These are advantages of hierarchical routing. Hierarchical routing will reduce routing table size. Hierarchical routing has better scalability. Guess better scalability mean even if there is large network, hierarchical routing will work well for large networks. And third advantage is fast convergence. Guys, convergence means stabilization. For example, because due to some network problem, router will transfer data by using other route. So only that region will get affected, not entire network. These are disadvantages of hierarchical routing. Our first one is complex setup. Hierarchical routing will divide our entire network into smaller regions. So which is very hard to set up. So we need to plan it carefully. And second one is less optimal paths. Hierarchical routing will not choose shortest path always. Instead, based on network condition, sometimes hierarchical routing may also choose longest path. And third one is gateway failure. If gateway router fails, then regions cannot communicate. And fourth one is higher cost. Thus, hierarchical routing need more equipments and as well as more maintenance. So it is costly. And fifth one is slightly slower. Communication between routers from one region to other region is slow. 